Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. In previous videos, you have learned about different terminology of closed loop control system. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed those videos, you can find link in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any informative video in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel. In this video, I am going to explain, what is controller action? And different factors that determine controller action. And at the end, I will give one example to explain the controller action concept in detail. First of all, let's learn, what is controller action? Controller action is function in controller, which determines whether controller output increases when process variable increases above set point, or controller output decreases when process variable increases above set point. Generally, operator has to select controller action from the controller based on their process requirements. There are mainly two types of controller action. First type is direct action. In direct action, Either controller output increases when process variable increases above set point, or controller output decreases when process variable decreases below set point. Second type is reverse action. In reverse action, either controller output increases when process variable decreases below set point, or controller output decreases when process variable increases above set point. Now, let's learn about factors that determine controller action. First of all, controller action depend on the location of flow control element. In other words, it is very important to know, whether flow control valve is located at input side of process, or it is located at output side of the process. Secondly, controller action also depend on the need for fail-safe operation. Last but not least, controller action also depends on the type of valve action. For example, whether valve is air to open, or it is air to close. Now, let's understand controller action concept by taking one example. As you can see from the picture, in this example, flow control valve is installed at input side of process. An air to close control valve is used to control the flow in the process. So, in this example, when level goes above set point in tank 1, controller output must increase to turn off the valve. In other words, level in tank 1 is process variable, and when it rises above the set point, to correct the error, controller output must increase. Hence, direct action need to be select from controller. Now, let's assume that we have used air to open control valve in this example instead of air to close. In this case, when level of tank 1 goes above set point, to correct the error, controller output must decrease to turn off the flow in the tank 1. Hence, reverse action need to be select from the controller. In conclusion, to determine controller action, you must ask the question such as, what do I need the controller to do? Increase or decrease based on the error. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about this video, please ask your questions in comment box. And if you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends.